team with a great showing, our Black History Month moment, tips to get ready for donating blood this Friday, and highlights from Spirit Week. Let's get started. Because we are on the air. I'm Rebecca Williams. And I'm Olivia Carter. This Friday, we will conduct Spring Blood Drive. If you're signed up, then there are a few things you need to remember before donating. First, remember to eat plenty of iron-rich foods this week, like red meat, leafy greens, and fruits. Low iron is the number one reason people aren't allowed to donate. Also, make sure to drink plenty of water, especially on the day you'll be donating. And finally, make sure you bring your photo ID. On Monday, the RHS academic teams were in action at Centerville and did well with the finishes in the top three for three subjects. The math team of John Zhao, Tim Zhao, Kim Reich, Anjali Patel finished first. The fine arts team of Madeline Keir and Victoria Kidd took second. And social studies with Hannah Stifler, David O'Bara, Kim Reich, and Julian Reeves, and Empty Santiago Hernandez took third. Today we wrap up Black History Month with another moment that has local connections, the first African American to serve in the United States Congress. Hiram Revels grew up in North Carolina, but as an adult moved to Indiana to complete his education in Liberty, Indiana. He later moved near Greenville, Ohio, where he studied in the ministry. After being ordained, his first church was built in Richmond, but it was later in his career that he would make history as he entered politics in Mississippi after the Civil War. Ruffles was elected to state legislator in Mississippi, and when two U.S. Senate seats for the state were open, was appointed to fill one of the seats in 1870. At first, it wasn't easy, as many senators were against seating him. Some even claimed he was a, wasn't a U.S. citizen. It's for his service as the first African-American senator that he is our Black History Month moment. Now, let's take a look at the announcements. Spanish tutoring, early college visits, and the deadline for honors and awards. Let's start with tutoring. Attention Spanish students in Spanish 1, 2, or 3. Tutoring is now available on Mondays and Wednesdays in the library from 11.30 to 12.30 and in the credit recovery room from 12.30 to 1.30. Make sure to bring something to work on. Small groups are welcome. Get a pass from your Spanish teacher to leave lunch. AVP Club will meet after school on Thursdays in R212 from 3.35 to 4.30. Club activities will include discussions, hand-on projects, and brainstorms for how to make our communities better. AVP Club is connected with the AVP service learning course, but is open to any student. Seniors, it's time to complete your free application for federal student aid, the FAFSA. If you missed yesterday's session at IUEs, don't worry. There's another session at Centerville High School next Tuesday, March 6th. There will be experts on hand from 2 to 4 p.m. to help you get the FAFSA completed. Don't wait. Get it done soon. The 7th Annual Shamrock 5K BPA fundraiser is coming up on March 10th, and it promises to be the biggest year yet. Last year was over 170 runners finished in the race. Sign up at speedyfeet.com by March 3rd and you'll get an official Shamrock 5K long sleeve t-shirt. We'll have more on the Shamrock run on Friday's show. Junior and senior early college students, remember the Indiana State and Vincennes University College visit is on Thursday. Those juniors and seniors who signed up need to be at the Career Center parking lot and be ready to leave by 6 a.m. You will return by 6 p.m. that night. Also, any junior, senior, early college student who is interested in doing a job shadowing at Reed Hospital during spring break needs to see Mr. Ronnie for an application. Students must have a 2.5 GPA to be eligible. Deadline to pick up application is next Friday, March 9th. Seniors, time is running out to take advantage of honors and awards. Applications must be turned in by tomorrow. Don't miss out on the local scholarships that are available to only Richmond High School students. They range in amounts from $100 to $54,000. Remember, the deadline is tomorrow. Also, if you have any outside scholarships you would like to have announced at Honors and Awards, that information must be turned in by tomorrow as well. And we wrap up today's announcements with movie night. Tomorrow after school, the Red Devil Mentors will be hosting movie night in the third floor lecture hall. Come enjoy the movie Coco with free food and drinks. All students are welcome. That's your announcements. I'm Colton Davis.
Now for a quick look at sports, and the first thing up is who RHS will play this sectional game on Friday. New Palestine won last night over Pendleton Heights and set up a Friday night rematch. The Red Devils fell to the Dragons by only seven points early in the season. RHS plays the second game Friday night starting at 7.30. Make sure to get out and support them and make lots of noise. One reminder before we wrap up sports, Track Packages has begun and they're still looking for more members. If you're interested, see Mr. Lambright. Now let's take a look at our forecast. Rain moves in today and will stick around through tomorrow. Highs will remain warmer than normal in the 50s. Showers should finally move out late in the day tomorrow. Things should be nice to wrap up the week with highs a little cooler only reaching the 40s but under sunny skies. The sunny and cool weather should last through the weekend, but get ready because we could see some snow by the middle of the next week. As we close today, here's a look at some of the people who have participated in Spirit Week. Remember, tomorrow is final day and Friday is red and white day. Make sure you show your support for the Red Devils and have a great day.